Everywhere she goes, Oh Young Hao Yu is followed. What she buys, how she behaves, is tracked and scored to show how responsible and trustworthy she is. It's called the social credit system, and in one version now being tested, a person's reputation is scored on a scale of 350 to 950. And how you, with a good score of 752, is okay with it. In fact, most people are. It's a mechanism like uh, pushes you to become a better citizen. It's big data meets big brother, expanding how the government monitors, understands, and ultimately controls its 1.4 billion citizens. Thanks to advances in artificial intelligence and facial recognition and a web of more than 200 million surveillance cameras. Are people bothered by privacy concerns? We think uh, the lot of camera keep the safety is uh, really good. We can accept it. Companies are experimenting with the algorithms to help the government create the new national social credit system. The government also has pilot projects. In one, citizens are required to do hours of unpaid work to get benefits. And scores are docked for things like littering, a messy yard, gossip, even jaywalking. Video of offenders is shown on the local news. And information collectors like Joe I. Nee are paid to report on their neighbors, her quota, 10 entries a month. Like the man who carried a drunk person home. A good deed, she says. Good social credit gets rewarded with perks like cheap loans and travel deals. But a bad score means public shame and worse. Huang Huijun lost a court case and didn't pay. Now he's on a government blacklist. I can't buy airplane or train tickets, he says. And the list goes on. Being discredited makes it hard to get a job or put kids in top schools. The social credit system will go nationwide next year, and few here are willing to criticize it, something that may pose a risk itself for a bad score and the life that comes with it. Janice Mackey for NBC News, Beijing.